for this video, I'd rather not babble on for two minutes about Akira Toriyama and how much more potential he had in him to do more than just Dragon Ball and blah 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 before introducing this, cause we already know that. So I'll just get straight into today's anime, which is the other Toriyama special that appeared with Tree of Might and alongside another anime I got a video for called Kenosuke Sama. It came out in 1990 and was adapted off a one shot manga from 1982, meaning it predates the Dragon Ball era. As simple as it is, the anime is about Pink here who is a water jacker. Seriously, she hijacks water from the Silver Company, who you could say deserves it because they're corrupted. The land has had a drought for a while now and these motherfuckers been selling the water for prices far beyond fathomable inflation levels and thus Pink comes in. What I enjoyed about this one is how it doesn't drive the story into a moral humanistic hero thing with Pink. She's honestly just taking the water from them for her own best interest which ends up leading the short adventure all over the place. What I will say about Dragon Ball where this anime is concerned is that there's a similarity between Pink's character and Yamcha in the original Dragon Ball with the whole bandit in the desert thing kinda connecting with the two of them. Anyway, she's out here making a killing in water acquisition and it's causing business issues for the shady company. To me, Pink was really just an excuse for Toriyama to throw how incredible of a character art designer he is in everyone's face. Cause it isn't the greatest story and the animation wasn't barely average either, but almost every character here is attractive to the eye. Of course, we could predict Pink to come out looking unique due to the whole protagonist factor, but the animals like the alligators or the little dragon thing right there, they all got a unique style that make you feel drawn to keep watching. Of course, you have to have a Goku knockoff or some variation of him in Dragon Ball in every Toriyama work. That's to be expected. But yeah, the reason I mentioned this as mainly Toriyama showcasing his art is cause in all reality, the anime sucks. Let's be honest. If it wasn't Toriyama, wouldn't nobody recommend this thing or ever even really watch it. This would be lost media, no doubt in my mind. It's really boring, it doesn't stay focused, the characters have little to no memorability or personality, the production is really low budget despite it coming from toy animation. There's nothing here. I will say like that last little part with the baby and this and that where you know the water started coming down like that was pretty interesting or entertaining and you know I thought that was that was real cool but yeah beyond that uh, my final thoughts weak Saturday morning cartoon vibes here it's got a little action here and there got its own flavor and aesthetic but meh I wish I could make it sound better or whatever but I think the best part about pink shower thieves rain thieves is that it only charges 30 minutes of your time to sit through like the video comment down below what y'all want to see next i'm out thanks for watching anime back when